I watched the effect of my father's love and humor and how it altered the world around me. And I thought, that's something to do. That's something worth my time. When I was about 28, after a decade as a professional comedian, I realized one night in LA that the purpose of my life had always been to free people from concern, just like my dad. I did something that made people present their best selves to me wherever I go. How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Because ultimately, we're not the avatars we create. We're not the pictures on the film stock. We are the light that shines through. All else is just smoke and mirrors, distracting, but not truly compelling. That peace that we're after lies somewhere beyond personality, beyond the perception of others, beyond invention and disguise, even beyond effort itself. You can join the game, fight the wars, play with form all you want, but to find real peace, you have to let the army Your need for acceptance can make you invisible in this world. Don't let anything stand in the way of the light that shines through this form. Risk being seen in all of your glory. I've often said that I wished people could realize all their dreams and wealth and fame and so that they could see that it's not where you're going to find your sense of completion. Like many of you, I was concerned about going out into the world and doing something bigger than myself until someone smarter than myself made me realize that there is nothing bigger than myself. Our eyes are not viewers, they are also projectors that are running a second story over the picture that we see in front of us all the time. Fear is writing that script and the working title is I'll Never Be Enough. I'm just making a conscious choice to perceive challenges as something beneficial so that I can deal with them in the most productive way. You'll come up with your own style. That's part of the fun. Life doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. We never have two choices. Love or fear. Choose love. And don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. All that will be left of you is what was in your heart. My soul is not contained within the limits of my body. My body is contained within the limitlessness of my soul. You can fail at what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance on doing what you love. Relax and dream up a good life. You can spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future, but all there will ever be is what's happening here the decisions we make in this moment which are based in either love or fear. So many of us choose our path out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. 